Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, if you can tell by the title, is another self-care Sunday routine, ritual, reset, whatever you would like to call it. What I've found with creating these videos is they also help me to be productive on Sundays and get everything done that I need to do. So I think I've decided this is gonna be my new little Sunday ritual. I'm gonna take you guys along with me for whatever I'm doing um, and include new drink recipes, dinner recipes, a little clean with me in there, and then something about some type of self-care, so a shower routine, body care routine, whatever that may be. Today's video did get cut a little bit short because I had technical difficulties. I ended up breaking my camera but or cameras I should say both of them while I was doing the dishes um in this video so I had to run out to Best Buy get another one by the time I got home it was time to cook dinner so it's not as long as I would like it to be but like I said I think I'm gonna start doing these and uploading them to my channel like every Sunday so we can just get re-motivated for the week together getting straight into the video i usually cook like a really good nice like breakfast on sunday mornings but this morning i woke up a little bit late but it's okay so i just hop straight in the shower i'm gonna get me in a nice quick shower routine keeping it simple today i'm just washing up with the native body wash and then i'm just gonna do a quick little scrub with this whey body scrub i haven't been exfoliating enough so i'm trying to get back into a routine of doing it at least three times a week and then just relaxing, soaking up the water, enjoying the vibes. Y'all are low-key probably going to see me dancing a couple times in these videos, but it was just a really good Sunday, you guys. Yeah, and then after I get out of the shower, I'm just going to do my quick body care routine and give a quick shout out to today's sponsor. Thank you to Native for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I love Native products and I have been using their deodorant specifically for a long time now. I'm super excited that they are offering the same vegan aluminum and paraben and cruelty-free formula in 100% plastic-free new and improved packaging. And Native is a proud partner of the 1% for the planet, committing 1% of plastic-free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. And they source their paper for the packaging from responsibly managed forests. I love the deodorant because it goes on smooth, it's not sticky, it dries quick, and it's made with simple ingredients such as coconut oil and shea butter. It offers 72 hour odor protection. It's great for all day wear, even after exercise. They have a wide range of choices and new limited edition scents that are being released all the time. And you can get three plastic free deodorants that would normally cost $39, but if you use my link and code McKenna2, you'll get them for 26. That's over 33% off. With my code, you can also get 20% off any body washes or toothpaste. So make sure to check out the description box below. Okay, and then after I did my little through on deodorant, I brushed my teeth really quickly and then I just headed downstairs. I didn't really have time to do much else. Y'all know I got a new baby. So after I got him settled, I just went ahead and started getting the kitchen clean. Saturdays are usually like really chill days in my house. I feel like every week you need at least one day where you can kind of just do what you want to do, you know, work life balance. So I don't overwhelm myself with like doing the dishes and doing like a really deep clean and stuff like that. So I usually pay for that on Sunday morning, but I honestly don't mind. So I'm just getting the kitchen cleaned up from the day before and then cleaning out any bottles from the last couple of days. I have been neglecting them for a minute and they really needed to be cleaned. But the way I clean my bottles since I'm here, I guess I'll just tell you guys, is I try to always start with a clean sink. I always try to keep my bottles separate from regular dishes in the sink anyways. So I usually keep them in that big bowl that y'all saw me put in the dishwasher. But I just clean out the sink before I clean my bottles just so I can make sure that everything is like super, super sanitary. And then I hand wash my bottles and then I also run through the dishwasher. Here's me just breaking all the bottles down, adding a little bit of soap as I go. I just like to take apart every single piece of the bottle and then here we go. We just gonna get into it and start washing the bottles. And then like I said, this is where my camera broke this Sunday. I had moved it to get another angle for y'all and it said do 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 plop. Okay, and then I put my other one up and it said do 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 plop and they both broke and it was so sad. So I had to like completely stop what I was doing this Sunday because <laughs> Had to run to Best Buy and get another camera. So, so after I basically got done with running around Best Buy and and sending off my cameras for maintenance and getting another one, it was time for dinner. So, your girl is not pregnant anymore. I'm also not breastfeeding anymore, but that's a topic for a whole another day that I'll discuss in a vlog. 
So the girls is getting cocktails, okay, every single Sunday. Um, this is something that I really like to do before I got pregnant. I'm not like a heavy drinker, but I do like to make cute little aesthetic -y drinks. So today this is what we're doing. These glosses I got from CB2. I will link them for you guys. And all I did was just add um, lemon juice to a plate with a little bit of sugar and did it around the rim. Very much unnecessary, but it's cute. It's a vibe, okay? And then I'm going in with the Cosmicos. The brown one. I know there's an actual name for it, but that's the one I used. And then I had some melon liqueur. So really what you all you need to do really is just type in the ingredients you have at home on TikTok and somebody will show you a drink recipe. I switched mine up a little bit and I used a Capri Sun. Um, I think this was like a melon. This was a melon something drink. I don't know the name, but I'll try to link the TikTok if I can find it. But I used Capri Sun because I don't really like orange juice. So that was my substitution but it was really simple you literally just add some shots of cosmigo add your melon liqueur and then whatever juice you like and cheers we had a drink okay i didn't really like this one that much because i'm not really a melon fan but my friend was there and she really liked it so i guess i would give it like a like a five out of ten for tonight's dinner we're doing a basic meal okay chicken alfredo but you can never really go wrong with chicken alfredo the kids love it the men love it. I love it. So I'm just going to tell you guys my recipe because I feel like every time I post a cooking video, I never go into depth about the ingredients and what I do. So today I'm going to show you guys. So y'all saw me obviously put the water on the stove, boil it before you put the noodles in, add a little bit of salt. It helps bring it to a boil a little bit faster. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start prepping everything else, which is just broccoli. I decided to add broccoli to the pasta today. Fresh broccoli is definitely the way to go, you guys. Listen, I'm just sharing with you guys what I have learned. So if you already knew this, I'm just telling the girls who don't know. I used to always buy frozen broccoli and like steam it in the microwave. Buy fresh broccoli. It takes the same amount of time to cook, even if you want to steam it on the stovetop, and it tastes 100% better. Okay. So then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and dice my chicken up. You can leave it in a whole breast if you want it to be super aesthetic -y when you plate it. But if you dice it up, it just cooks so much faster than... Than, in, than the other way another thing about chicken okay y'all if your chicken don't taste good it's because you don't wash it properly i had already washed mine before i froze it so i didn't need to do it but get you some lemon some vinegar and really get down and clean your chicken i promise it's gonna make your, your food taste better but anyways okay so i added probably like half a stick of butter to the pan and then i added in um creole seasoning garlic salt onion powder pepper regular salt <laughs> and i think one more salt but basically y'all know if those are the basic seasons if you don't know how to cook you need garlic salt pepper onion powder um i feel like i'm forgetting one but the girls then out now okay so that's what i added into it a generous amount because this is also going to help to flavor the alfredo sauce later i am going to just use like a can alfredo but when you season up the chicken good and you add some butter to the pan, this is also gonna help later, so yeah. And then once the water is brought to a boil, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the Alfredo noodles. It's a fettuccine noodles, fettuccine noodles. Okay, anyways. <laughs> and then I just added the broccoli to the same pan with the chicken. I added a little bit more butter and seasoned it once the chicken was pretty much all the way cooked through. And then I'll just turn down the heat, usually cover it up for a little bit and let the broccoli steam and cook and soften up and and yeah i i, I like to add a, a extra bit of seasoning to everything okay i really want my food to taste good um but yeah here's me just jamming out y'all see me we just listen to all the old like all the old school songs this day and we just had like a really really good sunday so 10 10 would recommend but anyways okay this is the alfredo sauce that i'm adding into it it's the bertelli's brand i love their sauces for spaghetti sauce alfredo whatever they make really good sauces quick and easy okay girl throw it in a pan let it start to heat up once the noodles are done we just gonna transfer them joints over to the pan now you can add a cup of pasta water if you want to to your sauce some people recommend that i personally don't really do it that often um only thing i will do is you can fill up um like the the can of alfredo sauce with a little bit of pasta water shake it up to get the rest of the stuff out the jar 
um but yeah pasta's done okay so we're gonna make a quick salad everything that i used for the salad was cucumber i shredded it because i'm not a huge cucumber fan but i will eat it if it's like shredded up green peppers and then i added pepperoncinis diced tomatoes romaine lettuce and toss okay i think I, we had balsamic dressing and then i also squeezed lime juice on it you guys and it was so 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 good first we're just going ahead and plating up the food like i said you can never go wrong with alfredo my kids ate like two plates i ate that big bowl and yeah that's that was it for this little um sunday routine i hope that you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe